This is the first time I've come back in the three and a half years since my accident. And when I was here for my appointment in um, April with Dr. Hole, um, he, uh, when I saw Christy for an um, assessment, she told me we have a brand new machine and we'd like to get you on that. We think that would certainly be beneficial. And I'm like, yes, I want it. We'll start you with your feet off the treadmill. Oh, and I'm going to increase the guidance force here before we bring you down. Let's start at 80% on the guidance force. Okay, I'm going to bring you down to the treadmill. I'm checking to see that her heel is making contact at the right time with her step. I don't want her to be floating. I don't want her to be off the treadmill. I want that heel to come down in contact with the treadmill. I'm going to take you to 1.2 and we'll let you get used to that for a moment. I looked at my husband and I said, I need to go back. This is a strong, strong feeling. I need to get on that machine. I want that machine to help me walk. And it has. I cannot believe how wonderful that machine has been for me. I wish they had had it three and a half years ago. She's been here for... Yeah, one, one more day will be two weeks or ten days of doing this. Um, and she's reported very significant improvements off of the local map, but there's also been improvements on the local map where you can see much better control. Like you said, you, you couldn't keep the person on the path when you first started. Um, and you're doing this at, at two miles per hour now, where at first we were at a much slower speed trying to do it. So, a lot of improvement. I have my freedom. I do, and that's what they gave me. Because I would not have had that had I not come to Mary Freebed. I would not be walking today had it not been for Mary Freebed.